The fact that Meghan Markle was barred from attending the Power of Women event hosted by Variety was seen by many as an insult to her. Variety's Power of Women issue is expected to hit newsstands on Wednesday, November 15, with a celebration planned for Thursday, November 16. All of the women being honored for this year's Power of Women list will be featured on the cover of the magazine in an upcoming edition, making this gala a momentous occasion to recognize their extraordinary accomplishments. Lucky chaps Marco Robbie, Tom Ackerley, and Josie McNamara have been honored with Variety's Producer of the Year Award. This year's Power of Women recipients are a dynamic and influential bunch. The Grammy-winning singer-songwriter-actress Fantasia Barino will be highlighting the important work of the organization Salute First Global. Billie Eilish will raise awareness for Support Plus Feed's laudable objective to combat food insecurity and solve the serious climate catastrophe. Carrie Mulligan will use her platform to speak for War Child UK and Children in Conflict, organizations dedicated to protecting children from the catastrophic impacts of conflict-stricken nations. Lily Gladstone will advocate on behalf of the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center, a group working to eradicate violence against Native American, Inuit, and Native Hawaiian women. Lucky Chap will be honored with the Producer of the Year trophy for their dedication to advancing the careers of female filmmakers and storytellers, creating roles for strong female protagonists, and giving women the chance to lead in all areas of production. Emily Blunt's outstanding efforts with the American Institute for Stuttering will be recognized with a Power of Women Alumni Award from Fargo, a flagship partner. Meghan Markle who is well known for her activism and feminist values, is conspicuously absent from this list of awardees. Some have argued that Meghan's closeness to her stepmother-in-law Queen Camilla and sister-in-law Princess Kate runs counter to her feminist beliefs. Some have said that Meghan's private behavior belies her feminist public persona. They say she isn't living up to feminist ideals because she allegedly mistreated her employees. In interviews like the one she recently did with Andy Cohen, Meghan has been criticized for not always addressing feminism-related problems. Critics say Meghan betrays her feminist beliefs by exploiting a World Vision trip to Africa for publicity or by utilizing her relationship with ex-husband Trevor Engelson to advance her acting career. This has sparked arguments regarding the sincerity of her feminism, with some arguing that true feminism entails more than patronizing others and supporting causes only because they are in. While, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle seem to have realized the strength of staying relevant amid meeting with Hollywood super networker Michael Kives. The couple headed to the city in Nevada for the closing concert of Katy Perry's residency at the Resorts World Theater on Saturday. Prince Harry, 39, and Meghan, 42, were both spotted in the audience at the venue during the show where they spent time with investors Ken Griffin, 55, and Kives, 42. Our strategist, mentor and the founder of PR with Perks, Laura Perks told us that the pair are clearly working on their next move after the meeting, which can only be a good thing. She exclusively told us, since stepping down as working royals and parting ways with the family to set up in the U.S., their brand image has been through a roller coaster ride of extreme highs, followed by crashing lows. They know that public and media interest is still high, and whether people want to build them up or tear them down, they know that they need to stay relevant to keep people interested in what they're doing next. Sadly, the relationship with Netflix and Spotify went sour, despite an insane amount of interest in the couple at the time, yet it feels as though they're ready to move forward. There are only so many family secrets they can share and fuse to fuel the fire. As a PR consultant, I feel that it's time for them to work on projects that will help them rebuild their reputation and regain their power of influence, Laura added.